Let's check in on one of the most popular TV soap operas for teenagers in the UK. It'll be okay. Just let's take it one step at a time. I don't know what the first step is. I'm a boy, but my body's all wrong, and how am I supposed to tell my parents that? I'll help you in whatever way I can. But you need to know that your life is in your hands. Yeah, because sod the parents, right? I'm sure this person is a paragon of common sense. And then, and only then, you can start thinking about how and when you can tell your mum. Rose, you can't move on with your life until you've told the people and you love who you truly are. You can't move on with your life until you embrace a gender identity that massively increases your risk of suicide. Guys, if you're sure, I'm so sure. Yeah, I wonder who convinced you of that. Well then, once you've taken the first step, you can start actually being who you truly are. It's the best feeling in the world. Really? Facts suggest otherwise. This is Hollyoaks, a Channel 4 TV drama primarily aimed at teenagers and young adults. They do all this under the guise of diversity, raising awareness and representation. But we've known for years that the top-down establishment promotion of transgenderism is riddled with corruption and is known to have harmed young people. The most egregious example being the Tavistock scandal, where hundreds of kids were rushed onto hormone blockers without sufficient parental notification and without even attempting to give them therapy for mental illnesses first. And let's not forget that this particular show, Hollyoaks, again, aimed at teenagers, has previous when it comes to being a willing amplifier for the message. And I'm not even just talking about a far left bias. In 2019, it emerged that basically the government itself was involved in writing the show's scripts. According to a report by the London Times, officers from the government's Prevent Radicalization program advised Channel 4's Hollyoaks on a storyline involving one of the main characters getting sucked into far-right extremism. Prevent's national coordinator even bragged that the show's demographic represented a huge opportunity to influence a young audience with government propaganda. Meanwhile, at the same time, rival soap opera EastEnders also featured a storyline about Islam. Islamic extremism? No, it was about a white character converting to Islam to find peace. Unlike when watching television news when the sceptical and analytical part of the brain is activated, when we watch fictional TV shows, our brain brain waves are lowered to an alpha state, making us more passive, more suggestible, and therefore more easily brainwashed. We're basically in a trance, and boy do they take advantage of that. I'm a boy, but my body's all wrong, and how am I supposed to tell my parents? Still, just be thankful that there are other TV channels in the UK where people can escape the social engineering, right? Like the BBC. Oh, yes! I love it! Okay! <laughs> yes! Go, Valen! You look awesome! Well, there's a, there's a lot of prejudice around furries, especially the ones with fursonas. Forget what I just said. If you value what I do and you want to help support me, please visit pauljosephwatson.locals.com and either pledge a one-time donation or subscribe to join my community, get early access videos and message me directly. And exclusive live streams coming soon too. Promise. Check out the locals link down in the description. And don't forget to take a look at the brand new website modernity.news. That's where you'll find all my content, including exclusive articles. That's modernity.news.